Let's see what the dice say. Two. Two is whittling and whatnot. Three. Modify something. Odd. A knife. Huh. Two, three, one. Whittling and whatnot. Modify something. A knife. Let's check it out. I think I got it. Let's choose a blade style and modify an opinal. I think I have one. I had to go to the cottage, to the man cave. I have an opinal number nine. I gotta admit, I, I do like these opinals. There's so much you can do with them. So the dice has spoken. We're modifying this guy. Opinal number nine. What are we going to do to it? We have to change the whole thing. We've got to change the blade and we've got to change the handle. That's about it that you can do on them. But there's so many variations. The other day, looking at blade style. And I think, you know, I really like working with these opinals. I've got a bunch of blade styles we could change it to. But which one? If I'm going to change the opinal, I want to change it to something I'm going to use. Not just something that's different. It's got to be a usable knife and something useful. I like to whittle, so we've got to come up with a whittler. That's what we've got to do. We've got to make a whittling knife. So here's the dilemma. What blade would I like for my whittling knife? I like a pen blade, but they're for really small knives. Hey, Warren Cliff. A Warren Cliff blade, perfect for whittling. It's got that nice shape, point, nice point on it. And it has a nice curve you can get in. Maybe that's what we'll do. There's other things I've got to take into consideration. One, the blade is going to have to be shorter. I like to be right up there. And this blade is really long. It needs to be shorter. Because I like to work close. Especially when you're getting delicate. So we have a Warren Cliff blade. We're going to have to shorten that off. Then we have the handle. Admittedly, this is one of the most comfortable handles you can get. For whittling though... I think I want a different handle. I had bought some whittling knives a while ago. I really like the handle, this handle. When you're doing close work like that, the way this sits in there, it really felt good. Can we change this? That, you know, it's halfway there. I think we can do it. Let's get at it. So the Warren Cliff blade. Got to keep the opinal. Too sharp makes it a sheep's foot. Like that. Gee, might even want to make it shorter. Eh, maybe not. That'll do. Now the handle, we've got to keep this depth, I think. Hmm, that might be an issue. You have to choke right up on it. Ha, that'll work. Okay, now I have that figured out. I've got to go to the hardware store. I need tools. That took a little longer than we anticipated. I thought a quick 30 minute trip down to Ace Hardware and I'd be back. Two, counting two yard sales. Had to stop by and look and I scored. To hold wood stuff without damaging it. Old school, double handle wood vices. Ha, oh, look at that. Old school. Handsaw. I needed something because I'm having problems with my opinal knives and the wooden handle knives. When it's damp, wet, whatever, they swell. Look what I found. Check this out. A mini oiler. <laughs> now I can put oil in there, seal on it, drip, drip, little spots of oil, and we're all good. Then things cost me a blistering 27 bucks. And then I walk in the door. Amazon arrived. Got me some more leather to make sheaths for the little folders. Woot! 
Oh yeah, that's right, I went to Ace. I needed a good hacksaw, so I bought me one, some hacksaw blades, and then I needed sandpaper. Anyway, let's get on with the project because this day got kind of busy. Let's have at it. I got too many tools again. I gotta find places to put them. The horror. First thing I need to do is cut the blade. That's not good. Wrong blades, I think. This is the uh, Arpinol Inox, which is the stainless steel. It's turning out to be a little bit harder than I thought it would. What to do, what to do. Houston, we have a problem. Looks like I'm gonna have to just run into work. We'll figure it out. Let's start on the handle in the meantime. Okay, campers, we back at it. Ran out of time yesterday, had some things to do, got caught up with going shopping and garage sale stuff. Put me behind, but I found my Dremel, which I haven't used in years. So I used that to cut the blade, which worked not great. I now know why I don't use power tools. Strop, gotta to clean up the blade when I'm done. Lacy lace juice and the terror. Here it is here. And I did a, a very rough cut, and you can see how I really struggled with it. So that's got to be all cleaned up. Going to have to do that by hand. Clean up the blade, get a nice sharp point on it, because it is going to be a whittler. And it's a Warren Cliff, and it's all about that tip. <coughs> So here we are now. Unfortunately, I didn't want to take it any more further down. There's some marks there from the, the Dremel. I've made it as small as I want to. I think the, the handle goes perfectly with it. And as a whittler, it's nice and small and you can choke up on it. This is for my middle finger. And this sits there and my thumb sits right on there. I've got a nice tight blade to get into that small. That is the theory, allegedly. But really all I have to do now is finish off this handle and I've been in a real dilemma about that. I've been thinking about that a lot. Do I leave it like this or do I darken it? What do I do? I don't really need a sheath for it. When it closes up, it's nice and safe. You can put that in your pocket, no problem. Obviously you'd lock it in. The other issue, getting it out, 
you don't have a lot of grip here. See that? So if it's really tight, you're going to struggle to get it out. And once again, I'm going to have to oil it and loosen it up a bit. But uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Can't remember how to loosen it, and I've got to look that up again. See, I don't care if it flops around coming in and out because you have the lock. Then we've got to clean up the blade, sharpen it, and then strop it. Do a little bit of dirt time on it. Oot. So if I'm going to stain it, all I have is two kinds. I have the dark walnut and the provincial. And uh, I, I kind of like the provincial because it's lighter. This might be a little bit too dark. So here you have the two colors here. I plan on doing a very fine 400 grit sandpaper on it so you can see how dark that is that is lighter I, I prefer that which is the provincial and then of course putting the oil on is going to make a difference as well so hey you pay your money and you take your chances <laughs> So that's the provincial. I didn't put a lot on, I put a very light coat on. I, I kind of like, it still shows the grain. And I think when I put the boiled linseed oil on, it's gonna show it up even more. So yeah, I was hoping. Okay, I put it outside to dry. Why? Quickly, it's really hot out there. So here it is here. And this is how it looks right now. Now I'm just going to sandpaper it a bit just with some 400 grit so just to smooth it up and then we onto the blade Ooh. So there we are. I want to test it and see how it does. Uh, it's pretty good. Working for me. So uh, I got to say, this makes all the difference. Thank you, Lacey Hayes. That stuff is awesome. And I've had it for a while and a couple of squirts every now and again. And I'm off to the races. I sharpened it. I, I actually went on a, a fine sharpening on my workshop and then just stropped it. Now, the point is, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a lot, there you go. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, when I was filing and things like that, the file would slip over the edge and, you know, you automatically come back and it rounded it off. There you have it. Now I'm going to be putting some uh, boiled linseed oil on it. I kind of, I really, look at that. That uh, stain really did a nice job on it. And you can see how you have the OP and the OP. It locks just fine. Shut it down. This is the part where we're about to struggle. <laughs> can see how short that blade is getting it out is an issue you have to really pinch it hard so do it time pretty nice day today a little warm but hey we're outside and I have mine 
Whitler, my little Warren Cliff. You can see it there and uh, closed just like that. that. I'm pretty excited about this. This better work. <laughs> So I've got a couple of pieces of wood here, uh, they, they're not ideal, but it'll give me an idea if it's going to work and uh, that's all I need because uh, typically I like to whittle softer wood like basswood and things like that, it's just easier to work with. But when I'm doing walking sticks and that, eh, the wood gets a little hard and I want to get more delicate with them so made me a table. Uh, the neighbour behind me here had a huge walnut tree in his backyard and he had it cut down. He said, help yourself. So he had cut a big heavy disc off. See this? Now I have an outside work table to show you things. <laughs> put a couple of pegs in it. Put a couple of pegs in it to hold it. It's pretty level. So let's do some whittling. So it'll strip the bark. That's no problem there. Look at that. You know, those opinal blades are made for slicing, so when you slice across like that, it goes right through. Um, I want you just, this is not designed for heavy work. This is uh, more delicate, the tighter spots in that, but I want to see if it'll actually, look at that. Wow. I like that. Look how that just goes right in there. Just like that. There you go, look at that. Look how clean that cut is. Let's try a small piece. Okay, I've just got myself a, a nice little thin stick. I want to do some delicate work on it. So, uh, so here we go. Um, you can see, look at that. Watch that. Look how, wow, this is what we want. And you can see I'm just using this thumb to push the blade. This hand controls it. Look at that, wow, slices right in. No problem there, wow. And I have pretty good control, um, this is, Working way better than I thought. So, uh, let's see how we do here. And remember, you slice, don't push. Slice across the cut like that to get it. So it did that, let's do a quick stop cut like that. And of course, into it, break it off. And if I do that all the way around, I don't know how good this stick is. <laughs> I'm just doing a, a little reduction here. By the way, I came up with a name for it. You'll see it at the end there. I'll name it for you. Oh, this does a nice job. You can see there, very basic. Yeah, I don't have gloves on. Tut tut, George. And I'm just gonna do this quickly. The stick's gonna break. Huh. So there you are, I did a, I just quickly played with this. <laughs> and you can see you have the uh, reduction there, a little twirl, not much and a round reduction and a point. And you know what? It does it so well. This, these opinal blades are designed for some really delicate thin slicing and they really do a good job. I mean, you can clean up so easy on these things to make it look a lot rounder than it is by getting rid of all the obvious edges on your whittling. And if you just keep going around, going around, going around, eventually it becomes pretty much round. If you want, you can clean it up afterwards with sandpaper. 
Woo. So there you are. Sorry, long video, I know, but it took a little bit longer than I thought, and a lot going on. Here it is here. You can see it there. It works pretty well. In fact, it works very well. A lot better than I thought it would. You can see the blade is a Warren Cliff. You got your Viro lock. I got the label to stay on. Woot. See, like that. Pretty small. And you can see it there. And I'm going to hold it here because hopefully you'll see what I'm going to say next. The tab pole. Yeah. Oppenol number nine modified Warren Cliff Whittler. The tab pole. Because I thought that that kind of looks like a tab pole. Just saying. <laughs> Don't forget. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> You know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back again. I like this stuff. This is, these are very satisfying projects. And if you look here, you know, I put a little bit more, I put some one coat of uh, linseed oil on it. And you can see how it really brought out the grain on this. It really shows it well. See that? couple of more coats to get it nicely soaked in and I got me a very cool little whittler and it would be mine see that you all be safe out there especially with these little modified sharp and shiny Warren Cliff whittlers the tadpole <laughs> thanks for watching see you again soon